all right everyone it's me prime again back again with another one piece manga review today we're going to be doing chapter 1001 now by the time this is uploaded this chapter already came out a day ago it this video is is long overdue but i just because i just have i just didn't review it yet but we're here now chapter 1001 first chapter of the no second chapter of the new year and first chapter after 1000 the milestone so the chapter is called battle of monsters in onigashima and the cover story is jimbei it says jimbei resting luxuriously on a jellyfish bed and there's like a bunch of jellyfish i don't know where that is but Jinbei, he's having a good time. Well, now he's in he's in Onigashima in the canon story right now. But in the cover story, he looks like he's having a good time. So that's great. Now, the chapter, this chapter is like about the worst generation. And there's strength. Because this is all like the roof. But nothing with the other straw hats. Like, we didn't cut to Sanji, Brooke, Robin, Nami, Tama... Momonosuke, Yamato, and none of them. So, well, I th yeah, because... We could have, like, gone back to the third floor, I think, that Sanji's in. That he got caught up with Black Maria, Brooke, Chopper, Marco. We could have cut to them as well against King and Queen. So, but the chapter starts out with right after Luffy punched Kaido with gum gum red rock and Big Mom and Kaido are still like, like questioning, like, why is Luffy still going for King of the Pirates? And Kaido, he looks to be actually hurt. He's on the ground, like questioning how the punch damaged me. And there's Zoro, Killer, Kid, Law. They're all talking about how Luffy hit Kaido. And this is the first time of Kid, Kid, Kid and Killer uh, seeing um, Luffy use his Rewo. And Zoro checks it out. Zoro, he says that, he says that, he questions that that is the hockey of Old Man Hyogoro. Now, I want to know if Zoro, I, I want to know is why Zoro didn't learn Rewo alongside Luffy. Because... You know, Zoro, he uses armament hockey on his blades, and Ryuo is a advanced form of armament hockey. And Zoro says that he wants to cut Kaido with Enma, so I don't know about that. I feel like he should have learned Ryuo alongside Luffy, but let's continue. And the next page, there's a really dope panel that says, How high will your ceiling go? As if, like, someone from the past, or Luffy is remembering something. It shows Luffy standing, like, like really cool on the roof and there's like in the background it shows Kozuki Odin, Whitebeard Edward Newgate, Goldie Roger, Rox D. Zebic, a silhouette of Rox D. Zebic obviously, and Red Hair Shank. And Kaido immediately after getting up he tries to knock Luffy out of the park with the same move that he used back in Act 1 when he one-shotted Luffy and Luffy actually avoids it this time because he used the future sight. And then right after that, he gets attacked by Prometheus, Big Mom, Big Mom's son. And in an effort to save Luffy from Prometheus, Zoro whips out a new technique. And this technique is called Foxfire Style Fire Flame Rend. And he cuts Prometheus in half. Now this, this means that Zoro, he used one of Kinyamon's moves, which means he was training about it, which is really cool. And Zoro's there telling Luffy not to play any games, like how he did in Punk Hazard when he said that they're in the new world, there's no time for games anymore. So so then after that, Kaido goes for another swing at Luffy. And Law uses shambles and he gets Luffy out of the way safely. <laughs> and then Law in the Next action, he brings Luffy to him, and he he says, Hey, Straw Hat, I just want to make one thing clear. I was already planning to move the samurai below. 
But it turns out Law was just pissed off that Luffy told him that it made it sound like Luffy was his boss by telling him to take down the scabbards. And then Law did it right after. And then Kid's there talking his trash, talking about talking to Law about how he's quote unquote Luffy's henchman. Which I found pretty funny because it kind of adds to the whole dynamic of the worst generation big three, Law, Luffy, and Kid, like way back at Sabaody, which is really dope. And then as they're talking trash, Prometheus, he reforms and he shoots three fireballs that are heading towards Law, Luffy, and Kid. And, and Luffy decides that whoever reacts to the fireballs, mind you, they're all going at them at the same exact time, like about to hit them. And Luffy says, whoever who reacts first to this is a loser. And, and Law, Luffy, and Kid, they do like this kind of like, like, think of it like, what, like when you're, when your grandma is like a, awkwardly kissing you. You try to like back away with your neck. That's the, that's the action that they're doing. And they look they look hideous right now. They look like three sausages, just just sideways. The Zoro's pissed at them because they're doing something stupid. And in the meantime, we also get some dialogue from Killer and Zoro talking about how Killer Killer said that if he had his punishers back then which are his like his little scythe things that they're like kind of curved like if he had those back at the fight at the bridge he wouldn't he would have beat Zoro and Zoro of course does not agree with that and in an attempt to to deal a blow to Kaido Zoro does purgatory onigiri and killer does be his a move called beheading claws and they both try to hurt Kaido which it does nothing, honestly, because, you know, he's Kaido. And the very next thing that happens is really cool where Law, Luffy, and Kid, they're all powered up. This is something I've been waiting for since, like, the beginning of Onigashima. Like, waiting for them to get to the roof. But the Kid uses Punk Rotten. Luffy goes to Gear 4 and Law does his room. And there's this really sick panel of kid and he's he like absorbs all the scrap metal in onigashima and he has like this cool huge mecha outfit with a with a, like a skull with a, like a skull in the middle of the stomach area and it looks that looks really cool luffy's in bound man looking cool as always and law's just there with his room just sitting there epically with his sword to his neck near his neck and the worst generation trio combo law luffy kid luffy does kong gun Kid does a move called Punk Vise where he gets his two like robotic arms and he tries to compact Kaido right after Luffy does Kong Gun. And Law does Tact and he brings a bunch of like like rocks crashing down on Kaido because they're trying to like compress him to contain him kind of. And Big Mom is just laughing there like on her mama mama mama. And Kaido's, Kaido's laughing. He goes into his dragon form. And then right after that we get another sick panel. Of Kaido in his dragon form, well, his fish form, because he gets the fish fish root. And Big Mom on her Zeus, like, staring down Luffy, Zoro, Killer, Kid, and Law. And Big Mom and Kaido are just talking about how they're going to take kill all of them, take all their soldiers, and take away the Poneglyphs and Nico Robin. And Kaido says, whoever wins gets that much closer to the King of the Pirates. That's how the chapter ends. Next chapter, January 31st. I'm hyped for chapter 1002. This chapter, chapter 1001, it was definitely a good chapter. Like I said before, it's a like a worst generation oriented chapter. Showing off the battle of Onegashima, like the beginning. Like the prelude, kind of. But like I said before, I thought this chapter was going to be like a... Uh, like a... Uh, like us checking up on other straw hats. Like I said, Sanji with Black Maria. Uh, Marco. Well, not, he's not a straw hat, but you know what I'm saying. Marco with... With... Uh, King and Queen. And maybe even the Scabbers when they see Shishili... Well, when they see Shishilian. Because maybe Law put them there. Because Law, Law wouldn't put them... Like, 
right next to the roof falling to their deaths. So maybe there could have been some dialogue there between the scabbers and the minx from Zo. But that's going to end it. Hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I will be back for chapter 1002 when that comes next week. Is wait, is there a break? Hold on, let me check right now. I'm on my, I'm on my computer. One Piece. Okay, 13 days. Yeah, there is a break. So, in two weeks, uh, chapter 1002. This, that one, that chapter will not be as overdue as the one as this one. But I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and see you in the next one. Peace.